All right, so we have Mr. Charlie. I'm taking him out. Um, you know, we're walking just in front of the facility. I was gonna just gonna do start doing a little bit of recalls out here. So I'm gonna let him sniff a little bit, get distracted. Charlie, here. Yeah, good boy. Yes. What a good little man. Hey. I'm trying to break it. Hold on. Ah, so gross. I just bit it. Blah. Actually, hmm. tastes like barbecue. Come on. Come on, little child. So we're just going to continue doing a little bit of, of recalls as, you know, he's going away like that. Charlie, here. Come on, Charlie. Charlie, here. Now, if he doesn't come, pop the leash here. Yes! Good boy. So that's how we uh, use negative reinforcement to make sure that he is coming. What we want to create is a pattern. Is that too big for you? Oh my God, they're so little. Oh, this is the big one. <laughs> Just crazy. Um, so part of it is, you know, creating the pattern of when I hear Charlie here, I must go. I must come. I must come. And it's a good thing for him. Careful with the poo poo there. Somebody left some poo poo. Let's see what he thinks. Make sure he's not chewing it. Just sniffing it. Come on. Move on. Move on, Mr. Charlie. Good boy. Try it again. So we're just getting him used to, like, dude, you gotta, when we call you, you come. Break these down more. Tiny, 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 tiny little pieces because they're tiny, tiny little dogs. So, this is like what, how they're cut. This is the piece that I'm gonna actually give them. Actually, I could probably could make it even smaller. Charlie, here. Nice. Put your hand out. Yes, he touches it. Yes, and treat. Super tiny. It still looks big for him, though. like a boring lesson right but it has a purpose <laughs> the reinforcing event is pretty long meaning I am allowing him to explore for a while after he does it right um, just so I can have a higher chance of him coming back when I call him Charlie here nice like that yes give you a piece it's coming it's coming all right I keep biting these things I think, I don't know if like biting this might mess up. I was fasting until noon, but I think biting this messed up, messed up my fast, but oh well. I'm gonna keep doing this for a little bit. Again, what I'm focusing here is the, re the reinforcing event. Getting it to the point that when I call him, he comes, anticipating the treat, anticipating that I am not gonna ask, ask him for more. I'm not boring him. Uh, I'm not making it too, too repetitive in the sense that he doesn't get anything out of it. Sometimes if we just focus on the tree, it's not enough. Charlie, here. Nice. Come on. Yes. Comes to touch. Tree. And then let's keep exploring. Now you saw like the one that the one time that he didn't come. What do we do? We pop that leash. Now, eventually we're gonna use like a, like a retractable and do it in more difficult places. But right now I care more about, you know, making it happen initially. Uh, so it becomes like a pattern, a strong pattern. That's what I'm looking for. Come on, Charlie, He didn't come, pop, pop. Charlie, here. Come here. You don't wanna touch it? Come on, come on, come on. Come here, come here, come here. Yes, there you go. There you go, good man. That was so good. I give him a little bit of pets. Good job, little you know me. That was so good. That was so good. That was so good. For some reason, this one was a little bit more challenging. You saw that, right? There was a little bit more hesitation. Uh, like he wasn't sure about coming. 
not sure if it was like that we were in the parking lot there, um, the pavement. Who knows? Charlie, here. Come on. Right, I'm gonna give him, let, 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 let him, let him scratch. Come here, Charlie. Come here. Up here. Yes. Good job. What a good man. Hello. How's it going? What are you doing here? 